A little birdie told me D you taste delicious, sir. Come here. Come here, delicious. I didn't come to eat you this time. We're going to knock this fool out. I can't believe this dude with the worst haircut in the game is actually going to help us do work. Ah, uh, isn't it beautiful? Good old white oak. I think I'm going to call it Fort White Oak. I think. Or Whitewood. Fort Whitewood. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know yet. I don't know what a great name for it is. Fort LeBlanc. <laughs> LeBlanc being like uh, Blanc, Blanche, White. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I ended up putting up... A little bit of walls, guys, just to get it a little bit bigger so we can actually start putting together some crafting stations in here today. I hope y'all are doing well, by the way. Excuse the blue eyes. It's it's just, it don't, don't, don't be creeped out by it. Just think of it as welcoming. Carpenter's bench is the first thing that we need to put together, you guys, for the baby alligator. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and put the carpenter's bench together. We need to make some stables, and uh, we're going to set that right here I suppose uh-huh it's overlapping with another object all right don't be all stingy game okay stables that's what we want I hear these things are pretty big in order to make this we're gonna need bricks shaped wood and twine bricks are made in the forge that's another thing that we're gonna need or a smeltery I forget exactly what it's called not this one because this is the modded one okay we need the one that looks kind of like um Oh, it, it looks kind of like a mine in Gunsmoke. There we go. <laughs> Furnaces. Uh, when I played uh, RP a little while back, I'm going to actually make two of these because I know that we're going to need uh, quite a bit of stuff. When I played RP a while back on Gunsmoke, there's these gold mines that you can get uh, that would basically allow you to just passively get gold, you know, um, and that you could use that in for currency. I'm over encumbered, by the way. Let's see here. Already out of room. No. Uh, I think that we're going to set up the smelty things here. I can always move this stuff around. We have the pickup mod, you know? So it's not that bad. All right. Let's put one here and one here. Perfect. I don't know if it's sticking out the back or not. It should be fine. We're going to put a little bit of wood. Uh, I think, you know what, I have sticks to be able to smelt all this stuff. We're going to have one going with bricks and one going with metal. It's weird in this game, it doesn't actually pull, um, it pulls in order. I'll, I'll show you what I mean, it's it's so weird. Uh, let's get, uh, oh wait, I put some boxes together. And now I'm semi-organized, I know, it's crazy. Z, organized, listen, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game, I'm just trying to make sure I do it all correctly, at least semi-correctly all right let's split the, this up into two we'll put some here we'll put some here we're gonna need stone in this one and we'll go ahead and press play and get that going now metal I'll show you how weird this is when you take metal and you go ahead and put it in the smelter mm -hmm, just like this it is it's smelting iron ingots right it's it's doing it um, let, now, so let's take some metal out of here just for the sake of argument, if I'd press OK instead of cancel. And in this one that's actually making bricks, if we take, you see the Q, how it has 260 ahead? Let's put some metal in there. Look what happens. So there's no way to change this around. You see, if you, you actually click on the Q, it just, it's so weird. I don't know. But anyway, so that's why we have two smelters. It's just the better way to go. And we obtained an iron bar, and that was part of our journey steps, which is good. We're going to actually need iron tools today, too, because I don't know how much building I could possibly stand to do without metal tools going forward. Uh, anyway, why did I stop here? Anyway, we got bricks now. I think we're going to need shaped wood in order to make that too. And shaped wood is pretty easy to make if I'm not mistaken. We just need to craft one of these. And now in stables, we're going to need twine, bricks, and uh, there. <laughs> now we can craft the stables. So, I don't know much about raising babies, okay? I've done it a little bit in real life. I worked at a daycare a long time ago as well as... I ended up, uh, I end, I'm taking care of my nephew every weekend now, and it's it's an adventure, I gotta tell you. Taking care of a young one is. I've never taken care of an alligator, e e IRL or in-game. You know, well, kind of, maybe, if you consider 
taking care of uh, Sarkos in, in Ark. Um, <laughs> anyway, so the, the crocodile has people telling me all the time, Z, it's not an alligator. Listen, I call everything an alligator. I'm a Cajun. It's just, it's in my nature. We have alligators around here. No, I'm civilized. It's not like there's alligators everywhere just roaming around. It's just a thing. Okay, so we have this. And I, uh, it's going to tell us a little bit more. I'm pretty sure that I don't have room for stables in here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's huge. Okay, we're going to put this out back, y'all. We're going to put this out back. Actually, we're going to position it a little bit a little bit out, just so if we decide to expand that we can. I can honestly put this on the top floor if I wanted to, but god dang. Boom! Stables. And I know what you're thinking. Well, stables are for horses. It just made a horse sound. Listen, you can do, you can do baby. I think you could do babies too. Pets. This item cannot be moved. What? Wait. <laughs> Don't tell me I made the wrong thing. <laughs> Don't tell me I made the wrong thing. Dang. I just noticed, y'all. Level 27. It's this that we need. Well, we have some stables. If we can find a horse, if we can find a horse, I think it'd be okay. That's just a little dirt moment here. I do want to make this uh, this fisher's deal here so that we can make the shellfish trap. I know this is uh, the fish trap and the shellfish trap are both going to give us good options. We can move on to other things. It's not the end of the world. The baby alligator is going to be fine, I think. We can't put him in the stables, but we have the stables now, so that's a good thing. So this is post commentary while I'm editing the video. I'm seeing that there was an animal pin, a basic animal pin right before the actual horse stable and I totally overlooked it recording guys. But I put all the video together so I really just wanted to upload it. We'll get to the baby crocodile tomorrow, I promise. Right now though, I did do a lot of productive stuff for the rest of the episode so we'll just we'll just move on. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess put together a few other things. I would like to go out and potentially start getting some faction stuff together. And to do that, I'm pretty sure that we need to take a look at this religion tab here. So, Elvenor Villager, we already know about all of this stuff. If we move up into Apprentice Gear, you'll see that there's some weapons and armor that we can get. Now, the crazy thing about this is I already kind of did this in live stream, so I, I, I know what's going on. The stuff that you need for these things are only available from um, caves, actually. Well, not technically caves. You need silk for all of the armor, and you need gemstones for the weapons. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Or gemstones, at least, for the good weapons. But I can put together the first deal here, and that's going to be to uh, that's going to be these these reapers of righteousness. They're actually pretty good. That, and I think I want to put together an altar of yog. So I can start actually getting some um, some purified flesh. <laughs> yeah, no, it sounds funny, but I think I'm going to put together that type of stuff first. So let's take a look at the Yog altar, and we'll see what that takes. Uh, not Yod, Yog. The altar of Yog is just going to take some bones, some twine, some wood, and some stone. So that's pretty easy to make, right? Uh, we do have some bones that we've been getting from here and there. We'll put together... I don't know. Let's put together some twine and stuff first. In my boxes, I have the bones. We'll take, uh, I don't know, uh, 50, 50, yeah, 53 is a great number. And we'll take some vines from the plant box. Or not vines, but uh, plant fibers. There we go. And we'll make some twine. Let's just make 10 for now. Well, honestly, I'll make a little bit more than that. And we also are going to just need the yog. So, boom, wood and stone. I could have sworn I had already got some of that, but that's fine. Um, stone, boom, wood, 250, somewhere around there. That should be fine. Yog. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, now I'm gonna, this is also very, very dadgum big. <laughs> I remember from, from where it was. And it doesn't seem like something that you'd place inside unless it was like a temple thing, you know? So we're going to actually place this next to the stable, I believe. And it's going to look like we're sacrificing horses. We're not, guys. We're not. We're not doing any of that sort of thing. It's going to be like, hey, let's just walk into this pit where we can cook you. All this, these skulls and stuff. No, it's not like that at all. Okay, so 
purified flesh, all we need is this unblemished human meat. In order to get that stuff, we need the recipe, the, the yog cleaver. And we have plenty of that stuff. So let's go ahead and put some of these in and we'll make, well, no, branches is what it wanted. Branches, not twine. It kind of looked like, it kind of looked like it for a minute there. I'm grabbing the branches from, you know, I had plenty in here. A lot of people's like, why are you burning branches in my stream? I was like, uh, because I have hundreds of them and I don't use them for anything else. Well, you can use them for tools. Listen, how many tools do you need? <laughs> how, how many dadgum tools do you need? It's crazy. Like, I have thousands of branches. I don't need, I don't need that many tools. It's fine. Relax. Well, coal burns it more efficiently. Can I just please use my branches? Huh? <laughs> God. All right. So with this, we can start getting purified human flesh, which is going to be great. We're also going to get coins, which can lead into some faction stuff, too. And while I could go across where it's a little bit, um, a little bit hairy over there, there are a few things, a few little guys back here. There's, there happens to be a spawn around a little fire back here. You know what? I've, I've fought so many dadgum alligators the last few days. Let me just, let me just not fight the alligators. Let me just... <laughs> I know y'all all mad at me. I know. I'm invading y'all home territory and this and that. It's a tragedy. Okay. Here's the uh here's the people, guys. Here's the people over here. I think they all left me alone. Perfect. Alrighty. Hello? Hello? A little birdie told me do you taste delicious, sir. Come here. Come here, delicious. Oh, with that little uppercut? Bring it! Oh, that backhand slice. All right, how do we do this? Oh, we got un... Oh, you saw the 10 coins? The 10 coins, y'all. That's what we want for the faction stuff. All right. Uh-uh. Listen, we were doing good. We were doing good. What's up? What's going on with the... All right. Oh, he did see me. And it's dark. It's okay. I'll give y'all some light for the fight. Let's see if we can perfect this thing. I learned a new trick from my buddy Cobb. Watch. Ha! Ha! <laughs> you just kind of just jump over him, man. Yeah. They're, they're not bad at all. Now, you can't get purified fresh flesh from these guys, so it's not even worth it. I gotta build a skinning knife, too, so I can get a little bit more materials with my goodness. Alright, let's see over here. Hello, delicious! What's happening over here? Oh! She's a cutie. Alright. Two at a time! Cool! He did a jump attack on me! Sucks to be you, bruh. She's a performer. <laughs> I like the sound of that, girl. Can we do a little dance? No, not when you're dead. That's that's gross. Like eating human flesh is. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let's not let's not get into the moral. Uh, <laughs> let's not get into a moral dilemma over here. It is it's just a game, dang it. It's just a game, Z. <laughs> All right, loot bag, Scott. Hello, nothing. Uh. More options for the loot bag? Open. I don't know why it says there's a loot bag when there's no loot. We could take all of this, though. I don't want all of it. These water orbs, I don't know what they're for, but I saw them somewhere. And it looks decent. We can always use another brick, I guess. And we'll add to the plant fibers. Okay. Perfect. And we can check out our little stash. What y'all hiding in here? Oh, some rocks! <laughs> <laughs> Their whole life savings with 29 rocks. Maybe they didn't have pickaxes or something. They did no, they could have still listen, y'all, the gather rates are fine on this server. No need to store 29 rocks. Just keep that in your pocket, cuz. Unless your grit's real low or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Now we can head back. Alright, let's see how this breaks down. All we gotta do is put this unblemished human meat in here, and then we can craft. 
Oh, now this stuff, when I played back in the day, was OP. I don't know how OP it is anymore, but the regardless of how OP it is, processing it actually gives you this manifestation of zeal. And you need this stuff for some other um, craftables. But anyway, this is another form of healing. Right now, the only thing that we have to heal is the regenerative properties of eating, uh, whether it be shredded roast or insects or whatever. And this is just going to add to that a little bit. So if we get in a bind, uh, that's what we can do. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the hot bar. I think I'm going to move this around because I honestly use bugs a lot just to start regenerating when I'm fighting and stuff like that. It ends up working good. 10 coins, I believe. I don't know if we can use those quite yet. If we take a look in the feats and look underneath the religion tab and here, uh, I believe that, oh wait, it might be the Order of Elvenor here. Let's see. Emissary Contractor, yeah. Uh, we need the uh, Dispatch Contractor. Hmm. How do we get to that? Maybe it's just in our crafting contract. Not contract. Yeah, we could do it right here. Seven coins. You gained a level. Well, thanks. Okay, so I imagine that this is going to be a vendor? Contractor for hire. Let's see if we could place it in the fort. Let's see if we can place it in the fort. <gasps> oh, and she got that little dragon booty too and them cute eyes. Uh-uh, girl, you coming in the bedroom with me. You coming. <laughs> Look, right there by my bed, sweetheart. <laughs> I know it's small. <laughs> no, no, not the bed, I mean. The bed, y'all. The bed. <laughs> y'all, y'all. I, I, I know what you're thinking right now. Commenter, I know what you're thinking. Okay. Um... We can make guards with copper coins and tin coins. Very cool. We can't do anything else yet, though. Um, we probably just need to learn some new stuff, huh? But you can hold my money. You can be my trap queen, baby. Let's, uh, let's check out the feats again. And we'll take a look at that emissary deal one more time. All right, it definitely looks like uh, that's the only uh, one available to us right now. Magister Guards, if we dig a little bit deeper, I wonder if there's some other stuff that we'll be able to get instead of the guards. Hmm, hard to tell. I'm sure some factions have some different stuff too. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out, but for the most part, maybe if you guys know in the comments, y'all could let me know because... I'd, I'd like to learn a little bit more about that. There's a lot of decoration stuff over here. And I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, decoration straight up is just decoration. It's not going to have any practical use. Like this fountain. It says water fountain of nourishment. It, can you actually drink from it because it's a decoration? That's another thing that I like to see. See how it says utility? I don't know. It's It'll be something to see. At any rate, um, we can we can go ahead and move into the rest of crafting here. Uh, we're going to need to put together the deal for weapons, and I know to do that, we're going to need um, the Iron Smithy, we're going to need the, uh, the Al well, not the Alchemy Desk specifically, and the Sewing Station, we're going to need a few things for those. So, let's put together the Iron Smithy first. So, for this, you need Slate Bricks, and I know to make Slate Bricks, I'm pretty sure you need to convert them uh, using the Master Furnace. The Master Furnace just needs some slate. And I believe we converted some of that last time. Um, uh, yeah, we got slate. So let's just make that Master Furnace now. Okay, we'll craft. I don't know if we're going to need more than one in here, but it should be fine. This is the one I was telling you about that you could burn white wood in and it lasts forever. Let's go ahead and place that down. It's a sexy looking furnace, man. Okay, and uh, yes, I think you can, I think slate bricks are going to be yeah, hardened slate bricks or regular slate bricks. All it takes is slate, and we can get that started just by putting the slate that we have in here, as well as a little bit of fuel to burn. 
Uh, where's all my branches that I had earlier? <laughs> uh, let me just go ahead and show you guys what's up. All right, so boom. If we put one in here, burn time is going to be 1 minute and 39 seconds, right? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, wait, slate bricks we can craft. Oh, that's going to go pretty fast anyway. Yeah, we'll just look at that later then. <laughs> okay, so we got the slate bricks. Now we can do the, the iron smithy. All we need is shaped oak wood. And I do believe that we just make that in the enchanting table. Yeah, shape oak wood. And all we need is regular shaped wood for that. All right. Um, hmm. I think I might want to move the enchanting table out soon. A carpenter bench. Or, you know, I could just clear out this wall. That would make it easier, too. Is this going to crumble? Is, like, the whole thing going to fall down if I do this? Nah. Nah. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Now we can move some stuff around here. So, getting the carpenter bench. Shaped wood. Let's just craft tin. And we'll put that in the enchanting table. And shaped wood. Oh, some of it you could just use regular oak. That's interesting. Oh, but it just it it works. <laughs> it works. It's 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 just it's cool that you could do it either way. Alright. So we have the shaped wood. We have the shaped oak wood. We have the slate bricks. Now, finally, iron smithy craft. Mm-hmm. And we're going to put that right. How's that look? It's a corner piece. Um, You know, by the smithies, it would seem like it would be good. Let's just move it just to, to where the little window shows still. And uh, yes. Now, all we need is iron reinforcements. This is a vanilla item, actually. <laughs> so, I know, it's a rabbit hole, bro. It is a big old rabbit hole. Uh, to make that, we're going to need the... The regular old blacksmith's bench. This is going to take some bricks and some iron bars. We should have both of those pretty much ready to go here. Um, wait, did I just stop using it? Well, oh no, we had all the bricks. Never mind, that's why. <laughs> we have plenty of bricks now. Look at that. Look at it. All right. Blacksmith, baby. I'm hoping this will not be too big. Crafting benches in this game, so huge, right? Like, hardly anywhere. Look. Look, <laughs> it's so big. It's so big. The blacksmith bench. The blacksmith. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so seven iron reinforcements, I believe, is what we want here. We'll just put in a little bit of that, and let's craft. I don't know ten. That way we can afford to do some repairs as well. And you know, you know, we gotta go for this. We got to, guys. We have to get those tools really 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 necessary um i don't know why i went through the door and i could just go around but hey so <laughs> let's grab the sticks see 679 i told you all we ain't gotta worry about sticks all right boom this will be enough for all the tools for the rest of the game we'll never need we'll never need to put uh sticks in here again <laughs> made metal tools so we got a, um, a journeyman step and we should be good now man we should really be good let's go ahead and swap these out I'm gonna leave the old ones in here just in case I die and I need um, and now that we have all of the tools that we need we'll grab the iron reinforcements throw these in the iron smithy and we got the reapers of righteousness oh baby wait we just crap. Oh, wait, do we need to press it? Yeah, we need to burn stuff in here. We need to burn it. Oh, I could demonstrate the white wood thing then. Hold on. Let me grab, let me grab some white oak. Can I just make one white oak just to show y'all? Boom. Watch. Play. 25 minutes. One piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> and we made this thing in in a, in a split second, too. All right. Well, there's our old stone sword. Now, the cool thing about the stone sword versus the Reapers of Righteousness is the fact that you can actually hold 
a torch and it's nice to keep this on you uh, at times for specific night battles but it is really really cool now that we have the reapers of righteousness we can just go around and wreck stuff man <laughs> wreck stuff these things cause bleed attacks let's let's let me show you some attacks um so left clicking once it does this charge oh man that's so good you just get in there uh right clicking once it's just like a swipe and i'm pretty sure that's just a bleed straight out if i left click twice it's that combo if i left click then right click it's that spin and you start getting some damage when you do that like if it if it connects and you're you're really all in it and from what i've seen from other faction weapons it's not quite as good only one saw me look make an enemy bleed and it got that little uppercut as well the bleed is actually quite significant let me see if i can show you Okay, he's bleeding. Now, half health, right? Look at that. He's got two bleeds on him. Now he's got three bleeds on him. Four bleeds on him. Look at that. <laughs> Look at him melt, man. So this is this is like an ultimate boss killer. You can literally just hit something, run away until the bleeds go away, come back and do it again. It's ridiculous, man. Very, very, very cool stuff. So now that we've gotten our weapons, I think it's time to actually look into being able to take thralls as well. There's going to be a couple things that we need to do for that. One is going to be this thrall taker feat that we got on our way to what I thought was going to be a pet episode today. Uh, actually has something called a truncheon or a trunkion. I don't know how do you say it. A truncheon, I believe, is the correct pronunciation. And a lesser wheel of pain. Um, and some fiber bindings. These things are going to allow us to pretty much make um, thralls into slaves. <laughs> you knock them out, you drag them home, and you put them to work. It's that simple. So, Lesser Wheel of Pain is actually pretty big, too. The truncheon is easy to make, and the fiber bindings are easy to make. So, let's look into that. Fiber bindings, I believe, are just going to be rope. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Plant. Yep. Cool. We're going to make uh, one, two, three, four, five of these. Then we'll look into trunk. Okay. Truncheon is just going to take some leather, which we don't have yet. Um, we'll be able to wrap those up into... I guess you can take hide and just do it like that. Now, you can do it using bark, I know. But I believe there was a nice modded table that we can do this on. So let me just look real quick to see what that is. Call the sewing station. We need two shaped oak wood for it. Didn't we make that already? Shaped wood. I'm going to throw that into here. And we have one shaped oak wood. We'll just make another one real quick. All right. And now we can make the sewing station. Seems pretty cheap, right? Man. Discount sewing station. That's what's up. All right. We got the sewing station. Let's put that down. This one's going to be... Actually, that one's kind of small. Can I fit this one right? It can kind of just go on top. We're going to do it just like that. It kind of overlaps, but it saves space. So, yeah. Now we can make... Oh, no. But that doesn't that doesn't cure the... Oh, man. Well, this is the armor, by the way. Um, some of this, the light boot lining and stuff we're going to need. All of this is pretty easy to make, except that we need linen cloth, which requires silk. We can even... Make some draws, man. We're not going to make no draws. Don't worry, chat. Um, <laughs> so, uh, let's let's see. What was the... Uh, maybe maybe we're going to have to tan hide the old-fashioned way, huh? All right. So, what I was talking about wasn't modded at all, actually. It was the armorer's bench. And with the armorer's bench, you can come into here and take hides, for instance, and just craft them. Like, look at this strip hide. If you needed, if you had a specific type of hide that you got with the skinning knife specifically, that's where you really, really get it at. Now, we don't have much of that, so we're going to need a skinning knife to do that. I know, the rabbit hole goes so deep, guys. Skinning knife is just a branch and a couple of stone. Pretty easy. We'll go ahead and put that in our inventory. And now, if we go kill a croc, we'll be able to get that relatively easy. Let's see. Don't make me look for y'all. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I know. I know. 
there's a billion and all, uh, a billion of y'all out here. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can do the uh. Oh baby. Okay, y'all hit me a little bit. That's all right. I'm just gonna see if I could just get in here and cause some ruckus, man. It's so fast. <laughs> So fast. I took a little bit of damage from being reckless, but holy cow. All right. Skinning knife. You gonna give me something? Oh, reptile hide. That's what we want. Uh-huh. Reptile hide. That will convert to leather quite nicely. So, easy peasy. We take our hide that we just earned. And we turn that into you gotta you gotta match it. See this little triangle deal right here? We want the triangle deal up here. <laughs> Let's craft 66 of them. We get in all that hide. And over here in the 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 tannery, if we take the hide and we put this in here and we burn it, we're gonna make leather. And that's what we needed, y'all. That's what we needed for the good stuff right there. So now, trunch. Yes, yes, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, trunch. Now we can put that in our bar. Now the weird thing about the truncheon is that you don't kill anything with it. It's kind of like tranking in Ark. Okay, so let's go out back to our favorite little spot with all the. Um... Now there's different grades of thralls, y'all. There's good thralls, there's mediocre thralls, there's bad thralls. They all have different talents, you know. But um, just for the sake of uh, just showing it off of the video, we just gonna knock out whoever's easy. I didn't come to eat you this time. We are gonna knock this fool out. Oh, you know, this guy's a taskmaster. It's a club fight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't want to kill him. Just go to sleep. Look, at the top, right above his health bar, that's the actual, uh, that's his torp. <laughs> See how he's unconscious? All right, so uh, what we need to do here, I believe, is equip this in the offhand. Uh-huh. Just like so. Eat a drag. <laughs> I can't believe... I can't believe this dude with the worst haircut in the game is actually going to help us do work. We, You know what? He's not a model citizen or anything, but... <laughs> he's our first, so he's going to be our favorite, I guess. <laughs> All right, we got our boy back. And I put together a wheel of pain, which is uh, just, just... It's easy to make. But we got him in here now, and in order to break him, we're going to need to put food in. So you put the food in, and it's going to take a little while. But this food can go for 32 hours and 15 minutes. And if we take a look, this Taskmaster will end up eventually becoming our friend. <laughs> it, it's going to take a little bit, but as soon as we get him, um, we're probably going to look at, oh, I don't know, getting... An entertainer. There's a, there's a few different ones that we're going to have to get. And we're going to have to get some guards. Because sooner or later, we're going to be dealing with the purge. But we put them to work. We made some awesome progress today. We have all of the crafting tables now, basically. And we can start looking toward our next adventure. Which is going to be to get some silk. And that's going to involve spiders. I hope you all are ready for it. I am. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Zuljin signing off. And we'll see you next time. Break it down.